And now I have the pleasure of calling up our eternal prom king and our eternal prom queen, Bill Lane and Sarah Thorne, on behalf of the, the WIDA Foundation to present the Lighthouse Award. Tell me I don't have the best job in the world. Everyone else gets introduced by Earl Blumenauer. I've got Sarah right here. This is great. Um, Lighthouse. It's here. Um, you know, first of all, let me just say something that, especially for the folks in the corners, uh, get ready. This is your night. Um, this is not only for many of us the high point of the evening, but for me, it's actually one of the high points of the year. As you know, the climax of every prom usually comes at the end, well, <laughs> bad choice of words. The, uh, uh, the high point of every, uh, uh, maybe not even that, but I should say that the uh, crowning of the king and queen is always very memorable. And um, now, what we've done at WIDA is we've tried to take more of an Oscar slash Emmy approach rather than king and queen. But the goal is the same. What we're here today to, to do is honor one of our own. Someone who best reflects the values of WIDA, is a mentor to others, and a shining light to the trade community. Now, Ted Estelle sort of came up with the notion of the Lighthouse Award, and he had this, this vision. You know, he's a student of antiquities, and his thought was the lighthouse at the port of Alexandria in Egypt. And it was gonna be a great uh, shining light that would be a beacon, a guiding light for others to follow. But over time, what we've done is we sort of changed it a little bit. Instead of a lighthouse, we see it almost as a spot, spotlight, where what we can do is shine it on the one person in the broader trade community who toils in the shadows, who makes their boss look good, and by doing so, gets things done. So if you're someone in the shadows who works hard, always makes your boss look good, never gets the credit, rarely gets any real pay, get ready, because tonight is your night. <laughs> now, of course, if you're sitting in the front of the room and uh, you make lots of money, uh, at times you're less than magnanimous about sharing the credit, uh, relax, <laughs> avoid eye contact, have another sip of wine because you're going to need it because you're not going to win tonight. <laughs> so with that thought, Sarah, is there anyone in this room that you think of? Well, you know, if you look at all of our past honorees, they're really the who's who in the trade community. And we've honored folks from the administration, like Frank and Ruby Gina Vargo and Wendy Cutler, the Hill, the, the Hill like B.G. Ragaswamy and Angela Ellard, Yuta Henning from the media, Scott Miller from the business community, Ed Gresser from, I think, all of the above. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, like you said, there's really a unifying theme when it comes to these honorees. Um, they're not just leaders in trade, um, but it's really their character and their commitment to the advancement of trade that, that makes them really shine. And it's whether they're in the spotlight or in the behind the scenes. Well. I've been really impressed with, the, the, with really the tone and the theme tonight. Bipartisanship, working to get things done. But I have to tell you, for a lot of times for the staff, things have changed. Today, people are more rigid. They tend to pick sides, and once that happens, they become so partisan that they forget that a good idea is worth supporting no matter whether it's proposed by a Republican or a Democrat. It's really becoming rare for someone to put country above politics by reaching across party lines to make a really good idea a reality. Just once, just once, I wish we could honor somebody, say maybe a Republican, who was willing to work in the Obama administration to get things done, or vice versa. I don't know, maybe I've had too much wine, but it would be really nice <laughs> if we could make that a reality. Yeah, it, sometimes every year I wonder why I come back up here. <laughs> keep, keep Bill on script. But um, 
So, but actually, I am, I'm so pleased to be here every year because of the people we honor. And, you know, the person we're honoring tonight, they have done that. And not only have they done that, they've been so involved in the most of every trade policy legislation and agreements that we've passed over the last two decades. And, you know, this person has done it by putting mission ahead of ego. This is a person who graduated cum laude, was on law review, and yet decided to take an unpaid internship at USTR because they knew that hard work pays off. And they knew that you don't just get great jobs, you work hard for great jobs. This is also a person who once said they didn't want to end up in a big old city driving a BMW, but they really wanted to make a difference. And this person drives a pickup. And so they're not flashy at all. Okay, so let's think about this. Someone who drives a pick em up truck and who's a lawyer. Now, that just about eliminates everyone in this room. <laughs> so what you're telling me, Sarah, is we went outside to find nope. somebody. Nope. You know, this is somebody who liked passing TPA so much, they actually did it twice. They, <laughs> yeah. not, not just this year, because like, I think we did it, I don't know how many times this year, but they did it in 2002 and 2015. Uh, this is a person who's worked in the House, the Senate, private, per, private law firm, and USTR, and they've been in the majority and the minority. Well, okay, who could this magical person be? <laughs> You know, this is a magical person because there's more. Um, I would characterize this person as a courageous person. This is somebody who, despite all their professional accomplishments, um, as a person is sort of unparalleled as a friend, a neighbor, a mentor, a husband, and above all, as a father. Yeah. So I think you may have figured it out, but our awardee tonight is Everett Eisenstein. <laughs> Um, well, honestly, this is probably the greatest honor that I've had in my life. And um, to be here in front of you and my colleagues and friends is such a great accomplishment for me. Um, obviously, I wouldn't be here without my mentor, Jim Colby, whom I had the honor to share dinner with tonight. <laughs> he he was willing to take a risk on me, and he taught me uh, more than I'll ever be able to repay, and I really appreciate that um, so much. But also, Ambassador Schwab, Ambassador Portman, Senator Grassley, Senator Oren, um, and of course, Ambassador Ron Kirk. What an honor to work with all these individuals. I mean, it's such a great career. I couldn't ask for more. And I'm just so pleased tonight, and I really appreciate this, and I'm grateful. And more than that, I'm proud. I'm very proud to have worked with Chairman Ryan and Ranking Member Wyden and Jamie White and Angela to get this bill across the finish line. It's going to make a big difference, and someday um, we'll, all, we'll all see that in retrospect, but today we can enjoy the victory and enjoy this beginning of, of the new era. So thank you all so much. I'm very, very honored and very, very grateful. Thank you.
Thank you, Bill and Sarah. I think all of us were very excited to hear who our um, awardee for the Lighthouse Award, and it's very well deserved to our very good friend Everett um, over there. Right now, I'd like to invite um, Devery Buvner Bornwerk to come and join me on the stage. Devery. I don't know about you guys, but speaking of Devery, who else is already planning to join her on her next trade mission to Cuba so you can do your holiday shopping? <laughs> Cigars for everyone. That's right, and it's a $100 limit. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Well, first of all, let's give Nicole a round of applause for her. Thank you. And um, um, I, I'm quite honored to help close the evening this evening, and um, I was thinking about it. I was probably the best choice in terms of um, trade wonks because I think what the, the WIDA planning committee decided is, hey, let's give the closing to the pregnant trade wonk. She's likely to be the, the only sober trade wonk in the room that can handle it. So, so here I am. i um, honored also to have my husband here. I think he's taking advantage of the designated driver designation. Um, but I also wanted him to see and take advantage of understanding the, the, the um, the best policy community in Washington. And that's, and that's why I feel honored to, to be part of celebrating all of you uh, this evening. And this is the first time we're giving an award to all of you. And um, what we would like you to do as a closing, basically I'm, I'm, I'm here to give the door prizes. Um, so um, we would like you to get ready, as Bill said, in the shadows or even up front um, to actually uh, walk away with some door prizes. And our three grand prizes that we're offering tonight um, are listed in your program. Uh, a Surface Pro 3 and keyboard donated by Microsoft Corporation. A Swash donated by Whirlpool, Whirlpool Corporation. And I imagine this one will also get a, a, a giant round of applause. An assortment of fine spirits by Discus, including, <laughs> including single malt scotch, bourbon, Jack Daniels, and Bacardi rum. I'm hoping to take that one home. I'm going to need it in a few months. So let's give a warm round of applause for all of our prize donors. <laughs> and to determine our lucky winners, what we would like you to do is get out your boarding pass, which is a, quite a creative, um, a creative, um, imp um, what's the right word? Prego brain. Uh, creative <laughs> idea. Idea. Okay. <laughs> and you'll notice, um, compliments of Ted and Boeing, that you've got a nice playing card on the back of your boarding pass. So I'll give you a second to pull out your boarding pass. If your neighbor left, just steal it from their seat. <laughs> Gives you a better chance. Take a look at your card. And for those of you that have the Ace of Diamonds, would you please stand up? And I, I can't see a thing up here, so are there any Ace of Diamonds standing? One. How many of them are there? One, two. Okay. Three, do we have three? Four. Okay. Now, so for those of you that are holding the Ace of Diamonds, if you have a one, two, or three on your card, you are the grand prize winners. So congratulations. And if you have a four on your card, you're the first one runner-up, and you also win an, an amazing award. So what we would like to do is give a round of applause to all of our winners, and we'll ask you... We'll ask you to meet us in the atrium to, to receive your award. I don't know if you're gonna be carrying a washing machine home tonight, but we'll, we'll arrange for delivery. And we'll thank, we'll thank again Discus, Microsoft, and Whirlpool for their offerings. Thank you. Thank you, Devery. Weren't those prizes amazing? Again, thanks to all of our sponsors for this evening for their support. 
So um, we're, we're almost done. Uh, I don't want to be the person really standing between you and your cocktails, but um, you know, I want to close out my trade walk list. So again, this might be many of you in this room, but um, just a few more things. First of all, you might be a trade walk if your autocorrect suggests TPP whenever you want to write to TOO. <laughs> Um, number two, you're playing trade prom bingo right now, and you may be winning because you may be winning because we've mentioned a lot of keywords tonight. <laughs> the end game. What? End game. Okay. Finally, you are indeed a trade walk because you are here in D.C. You're enjoying this lovely dinner, and yet you may still be lamenting the fact that you're not already in um, sipping on a mai tai in Maui. You know, cheers to TPP. Again, thank you, that's my list. I would again like to thank all of you for joining us this evening. And before we head back to the atrium to continue our celebration, I would like to invite um, you all to take the centerpieces, so no fighting, it's not Hunger Games, but designate someone to take the centerpieces. And um, we want you all not to forget your WIDA swag bags, which are located out front. So again, thank you very much to everyone for coming and drive safely.